OpenSea versus Rarible versus Nifty Gateway, which one is best for minting and buying NFTs? Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to do a comparison between OpenSea, Rarible and Nifty Gateway. As you all know, these all are very prestigious and very well-known platforms, which are the main NFT marketplaces in today's world. And a lot of people are using each one of them for their own use, to buy, to explore and to collect and sell their NFTs. But which one is better and why should you choose that? That platform so this is what we're going to talk about today i'm going to tell you the main comparison i'm going to talk about the minting fees i'm going to talk about the gas fees the transaction fees how easy is the minting and what are some other features of each of these platform i'm going to compare so let's get into it there you can see i have opensea.io open for me and let me show you the basics around the platform first here you can see these are the notable collections that are going on right now from here you can explore here are the main drops here are stats resources and then this is your profile and you can connect a wallet very easily you can connect any wallet to it like if you have metamask if you have solana whatever wallet you have then you can see the trendings are here then there are notable collections right here and then you have your top collector bias today holiday nft spotlights your nft 101 and then you can browse by category these are all the categories that are available you have art collectibles domain names music photography etc so this is basically uh the main page of the website and the platform and it looks really good and the nft collections are also really great and as you can see it's winter right now that i'm making that video and it has featured some winter related nft so let's go on to rarible so rarible.com is also a really great platform you can connect the wallet very easily you can explore from here and also you can create the creation is here you can create a collection and a marketplace this option is also available in the open so you can create your collection and you can uh, create your marketplace as well so you can just go on and continue with whatever you want then you have your hot collections right here then you have your create nft marketplace for your own community you can create your marketplace you have your notable articles right here and then you have your uh, you know uh, different links so you can just go on and continue with drawable very easily you can search for anything right here then just move on to nifty gateway here you can see your collection is waiting this is basically nifty gateway and your drops are going to be here the marketplace you can access from here and then these are your stats you can just sign in you can connect your wallet very easily and you can get started you can basically see that in the main marketplace and it's very uh, you know it looks good everything is amazing these are the trending publishers that nifty has and these are the most popular collections and you can see that this is the recent activity that has been happening and this is basically same on gas at the pump the gemini credit card it is basically offering some kind of a discount on gemini credit card get the nifty gateway app and this is basically the main dashboard of the whole marketplace so first of all let's talk about transaction fees okay so if we talk about transaction fees the open sea charges 2.5 percent to the one that is basically selling their nft so this that is the transaction fees on open sea on the variable it is very similar variable also charges 2.5 percent transaction fees to the seller but also charges 2.5 transaction fees to the buyer as well so it would basically costs around five in total and the half is divided between the buyer and the seller and if you talk about the nifty gateway nifty gateway has the gas fees of uh you know five percent and it basically has to be covered by the uh, seller so the buyer doesn't have to uh, give anything so if you talk about uh, the comparison between the three i think the open sea is the uh, better platform because the transaction fee is, is the minimal and only one party has to pay it that is basically the seller and the buyer doesn't have to pay a penny they just uh, they they're just going to pay the amount of the nft that they are getting they are buying and they don't have to go on and add uh, you know get the transaction fees also added to their whole cost so the variable is quite uh, you know it is expensive but it is ex uh, it is same on the hands of the the seller but it is expensive on the hands of the buyer but if you talk about nifty gateway it is very expensive on the hands of the seller so you can just go on and you can see if you like variable and nifty gateway if you're uh, okay to cover that kind of transaction fees then good to go but i would give a thumbs up to open in, in this case now if you talk about minting uh, minting is basically getting your own nfts right here if you getting to create your own nft and minting them in onto your nft marketplace okay so now if you talk about the minting minting is basically getting your products on OpenSea or variable or nifty gateway so minting is uh, quite difficult in terms of the, if you want to upload a collection like for example if you have a collection of let's say 500 nfts that you want to upload in 
each of these platform you have to generate the each of one of you have to mint each one of nft one by one because they do not allow you to upload all of the nfts which have distinct characteristics which have different characteristics in one time so you have to go on and place each one of the nft and fill out all of this information like you have to add an image name external link description collection etc all of these uh, you have to fill out these and then you have to create and you have to do that one by one now the other option is that you use a third party tool which allows you to basically get all of your collection uploaded in one time that is a good option but other than that there is no thing available you can upload a collection you can upload multiple nfts if they have same features if they don't have distinct features from one another you can upload them at the same time if they are distinct if they are different from each other then you cannot do that on each of one of these platforms so the difficulty level is uh, of a uh, minting is almost the same and the uh, information that you have to fill out is almost same on each platforms as well so you can just go on and choose any one of these and it is going to give you the it's going to offer you the same amount of effort from each one of these so if we talk about the gas fees gas fees is something that you have to pay when you mint something on each one of these platform so it is inevitable and you have to pay the gas fees and it is all uh, very minimal but if you are uh, uploading a collection of like 500 nfts or 1000 nfts even if the gas fees is like one dollars or 0.5 dollars it gets a lot when you upload in bulk so each of these platforms uh, allow one thing which is very great it is called lazy minting lazy minting is something that you do not have to pay the gas fees upfront but whenever you uh, your nft is sold whenever you make a transaction you are going to pay the gas fees for that specific nft as well but you won't have to pay that upfront it is going to get allow you to publish the your nft it is going to allow it to be on the marketplace but you don't have to pay the gas fees you can basically pay the gas fees when the transaction is made and when and the nft is sold so when you are basically when you get the money for that nft whatever the amount is you can pay one ethereum or something like that or 0.5 ethereum it's not very pricey it doesn't seem very pricey at that time so you can do the lazy minting on each one of these platforms, and i think it's a really good thing that you can go with you don't have to have a lot of money in your account to basically mint your products into onto each of these platforms okay so at last i want to talk about the community if you talk about the community if you talk about the selling volume if you talk about the ratio of the people using these platforms there is a huge gap between nifty and rarible and OpenSea. so it is uh, easy to say and it is basically uh, the ratio that um, OpenSea holds of the all of the uh, nft and uh, crypto transactions on internet is, is uh, the ratio that OpenSea holds is like 60 percent it uh, covers all of the nft transactions uh, that are happening around the world and it is basically the most used and the huge marketplace of nft so if you want to get more buyers if you want to get more collections then i think OpenSea is the best option that you have but uh, rare, if you want to go on to uh, some different platforms if you want to try out these different platforms if you want to go on and see that what are these and if you want to basically get something unique it is not necessary that if everyone is using one platform that then it is the best uh, these two platforms nifty gateway and rarible also hold a, uh, a very big economy and they are also very used by people and uh, there are a lot of people that only use these platforms because of their perks and because of their features so you can just go on and check each one of them out and you can see which one you like the best because every person has a different uh, mindset every person has different taste so you can just go on and check all these out and you can continue with the one that you like the best so i told you a little bit of pros and cons of all of these platforms i hope this video was fun i hope this video was informative enough so if you have any query you can just comment it down in the comment section i will try to get back to you guys until then take good care and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye